So, it's another Sunday. Uh, this week has been not really busy actually, because the weather has been uh, been everywhere. <laughs> we really had the mold this week, I think. We had summer to winter. On uh, on Friday we got got some snow actually, uh, and it's in between from Monday to to this to Sunday. It's been uh, Sunny, cloudy, rainy, snow as I said, hail we had this one, and very cold, it's, uh, or very cold, but it's raw, like humid raw. It's about now 3-4 three, three, degrees and it's a bit windy and and the rain is hanging in the air, so it's a bit, uh, it is what it is. But anyhow, this week I started a bit, I, just started to to weeding out this lower terrace here which is gonna be the ending point of the workshop and I kinda just needed to weed away the stuff so I see where I'm gonna step because we have planted some uh, perennials here as you can see some of them have come up and not sure if everybody survived from last year, but you have to see. It looks pretty good though, and uh, here as well, I did a bit of cleaning. Started to come up there as well. And the grey pipe, because I got questions about that. The grey pipe that's laying here is the irrigation for the whole, uh, the whole terrace thing. And that grey pipe is actually a uh, leftover from when we did uh, the electricity in the house that house uh, the cables that we pulled through the walls or that cable or that pipe and then we had some over and then we just used it for uh, for irrigation pipe instead which is pretty good because it's uh, crush resistance and and all that so you don't have to worry about stabbing it with a with a knife or anything to perforate it so it ended its life as a irrigation hose which is good so the next step here though is gonna be for me to put like a, a pillar here standing up and uh, over there again and then take over the uh, some sort of wood structure there just to make sure that the, that's the end of the workshop it's gonna be there but uh, in order to do that I have to still do some water management as you can see the the mountain is still it's gonna release a lot of water still and it's gonna keep on going for for a long time still and it seems like every year it comes a bit more from the mountain so I guess the, the old springs are kinda wakens up so you can see the area here where I'm gonna have the, the workshop is it's very waterlogged so I just started to open it up a bit and take away some of these stones because I had this used to be the chicken run and in the chicken run, since we had so much water coming down here uh, you see the height of the chicken run was as high as one of those grey cinder blocks like there, I took it out and then we just uh, dumped in a lot of rocks in the bottom there to keep the, the feet of the chickens dry which works fine uh, it's just now, <laughs> it's a lot of uh, chicken shit on it as you can see and uh, that's the only good thing with the rain though I had to say this this week that it's been raining a lot and it's starting to clean the rocks for use later but all of those rocks are basically just gonna end up here because as I build this uh, wooden thing here I'm gonna do a small uh, uh, rock wall again here just to break some wind that comes from on that side right and if you don't know all these rocks if you're new to the channel all these rocks and terraces was not here when we took over the land those rocks used to be over there where you see the the darker patch and it continues a bit further down the or well, let's just walk there instead there used to be a wall here, stone wall that went 
from that side of the land to all the way down there, right? And you see the where the soil is turned here is where we because we started to take everything up and then we left kind of the bottom layer of the stones or of the wall just to see where it was uh, and then as we needed more rocks I took the rocks to put with the help of my parents I took the rocks to build this uh, connection of the road up to be able to uh, get out to the car when it's raining because not sure the camera is not picking up really great but I live on a slope and as soon as the rain comes it's you know it's grass I haven't done this connection yet so as soon as the rain comes I can't get up with the car so I needed to do this uh, this just stone uh, connection up to there to make sure that I can get up in in every weather which I can now anyhow so back to what we've done this week as I said I started to guard uh, to weed up the, the terraces there and then uh, as some of you know I started to do make a, a pond down there by the chicken coop right down there and why I picked that spot is because the water from the mountain comes down here and then it flows over the over the road and then we just followed the water so this trench here for instance is just where the water wanted to go after we build the road and then I let the, the water run on the grass and then I dug a ditch after the grass in the grass and just followed where the water was going down and there it's hard to tell but where I did the pond just underneath there is a, is a natural spring so that area there is already quite waterlogged from the beginning so the soil there is it's kind of clayish in the, the deeper you go the, the more clay it gets I'll show you later on but uh, let's hope it works because all I did I just took one of those uh, like when, had, when you do uh, concrete and stuff, one of those spatula, and then I just pushed uh, the dirt as hard as I could, in, could into the sides, and I maybe a centimeter and a half, two centimeters, I managed to push the dirt in, so kind of compact it a bit to seal up the sides. So let's see if it works. But in pre preparation of doing that, I did a, <laughs> I did a scale experiment here which I used the same techniques, kind of just built up the sides and then I just uh, started to push the, the dirt like that to comp compact it a bit and it seems to hold water now, this little scale thing and then it's the same here, I did like a, a holding pond or whatever you want to call it is just to, since all of my irrigation is open ditch and of course debris and the chickens are there and the dogs and whatnot so and the winds kind of push stuff into the into the ditch and that's gonna follow down by the water so that's why I kind of do these holding ponds to stop up the the flow and then just let the big stuff settle in the bottom and I have as I said I have a couple of these it's there and of course this one as well counts as one and then I just continue down here and that goes underneath the road to the another open ditch down here to the to the divide of of the open irrigation ditch whatever you want to call it and this one goes directly into the garden which I then can decide if I want to branch out to anywhere and then the split here it was goes down to the to the pond itself so what I need to do here I need to redo this because the UX it's a bit boring <laughs> I have the I did that bridge first to get up there to the what we call the Portuguese garden up there with the tail and stuff but 
when I walk every day to the chicken coop, I walk here, right? So I'm not gonna go over there to go there, and I really need to figure something out to uh, just build some sort of uh, passage over here so I can pass with the wheelbarrow and stuff because sometimes I need to use the wheelbarrow when I when I empty the chicken coop for instance because I do kind of like deep bedding and then I can remove these top boards here and then I just remove slide out the bottom plate and take out the whole chicken coop as a lasagna and since now when I have it so close to the garden I'm probably gonna figure out some way to just make it easy to compost uh, the chicken um, bedding somehow to keep it in some area. I used to keep it like dump everything up there by the trees where you see the white sticks but that area is kind of full now and then I started to dump in the round thing you see there which which I call the everything tree because <laughs> I have planted some stuff that, uh, that I, did, I got trees from a neighbor and from another friend and I didn't really know where to put all of them I planted them here and there but you know it takes uh, sorry it takes uh, I don't have space for everything so I kind of just planted stuff in there and see what's gonna grow and that's where I've been dumping the, the chicken scraps as well for the, the compost but uh, now with the move of the chicken coop, I think I need to find a new way to put, uh, or new place to put uh, the dumpings of the chicken, so to speak. But anyhow, what we've done this week, as I said, we started with the, continued, should I say, with the, with the pond. And I kind of just raised the, the banks here by digging up these, you see in the grass there, there are these uh, high nutrient spots from where the cows used to go and do their business. They still do go here, the cows though, once or twice a year, depending on the, the season and how how dry and so it is. But the, the cows usually come here one, once or twice a, uh, a year, it's still great. But, so I took those things and just raised the banks and then I created another like trap there to stop the debris from going into the pond and then the overflow there and what I did here since I have so much walnuts I have an excess of walnuts actually because I have this tree here is a walnut tree and this next to it is also a walnut tree and up there is a walnut tree and up there is another walnut tree behind the, the chestnut there so I have at least four that produces fruit and more over here, right? So I have at least four that produces fruit and I can't eat it all and I'm not picking it all. So what's happening is when you don't pick all of it and the weather comes with the rain, they lay on the ground and then they get moist and then they just get black and rotten inside. So I decided to use it as some sort of uh, ground coverage. So let's see. And I mean, it looks okay actually. And that just the, the old stump that, uh, I don't know if you were with me last week, but last week I put up like the, because we had a lot of stumps when we took over the land that we dug up and when we kind of landscaped a bit. And those stumps we saved because we were thinking of having them for the, for the rabbits, just as nice landscaping for them. But, uh, and then other plants developed and then I want to do some woodworking with them and so forth. But for now, this is all reclaimed and uh, upcycled old logs that I just use for landscaping and it's, you know, it's free. And in the bottom here I put the leftovers that I have from the, from the slates when I did the road and here comes the weather. Again. So... I'm not sure how I'm <laughs> gonna be able to keep this out of the rain. Go a bit underneath the tree. So, yeah, this is, has been the week. You work a bit and the rain comes, you work a bit and the rain comes. So, it's been a short burst, therefore not so much progress. But anyhow, I think I'm pretty happy with the progress that's made so far. 
And it looks pretty good actually, so... But uh, no water yet. I was thinking I'm gonna have water in this weekend, but... Uh, I decided to not work through the rain. And it seems like I need to go inside again, because it's starting to pick up. Or... Anyhow. That's about it this week. Building wise. I really wanted to make sure that this was done, but as I said, I didn't have the time. But uh, next week for sure is gonna be done. Next week for sure. I have to go check what's up there because it looks like the other shit in colors. Let's break the weather a bit. Let's see. To be enough to. Ooh. Let's take the new path by the way. I opened it up. <laughs> so, if you don't know, I built a. Uh, or I opened up an old pathway that used to be here. So I opened it up again just for passage easier to get up and down the land along the wall right and here used to be the, the fence that I just took the chainsaw and cut up and then I'm still missing steps here right but we're getting there <sighs> let's see well it is feathers I just don't know yet Ooh, the rain! Let's see. Uh -huh. Ooh. Cold and wet. There she is. She's still here. <laughs> Marta. So, sadly I don't know what Hilda is. I haven't seen her today. It could be her feathers. Not sure. Whew. But, I think I... <laughs> I don't know if the camera picks this up, but it's coming down now. But, while I'm here, this is the door I'm gonna take for, for the woodshed, but as you see I have some work to do with the, the collapsed stuff here first, before I even can, can get that door right, so, but all in due time. <laughs> Oh well, as I said, this week has not been the most productive work-wise, but we had some, uh, also some, Mason is not doing great actually, he's on more medication now, he's, uh, he's responding a bit, but not uh, not really great so we have to see how it goes he mostly now he just he eats a bit breakfast in the morning and then he just sleeps all day almost he usually comes up once in the sofa and the rest of the day he just stays in his bed and, and sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. He's very tired. So we just have to see how that develops. But uh, frankly, it doesn't look great. I'm gonna go in in the... <laughs> some, so, uh, the in the woodshed. Stevie's are still enjoying their... their... Uh, their space. Yeah, you are. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna call it because it's getting really cold. As you can, I don't know as I said, if the camera picks it up or not, but it's uh, the rain comes down and it's a bit, you know, you don't really want to work in this. You really don't want to work in this. So I think we're gonna call it Stevie's and do a Sunday in the sofa. Take care of Mr. Mr. Pipo Poo. Make sure that he's comfortable and see how he how he's going, getting on with his day. But uh, yeah, we just have to see. Okay, as I said, not much um, building progress this week. But uh, next week, according to the uh, weather forecast, it looks a bit better. So we just have to hope that that the forecast is uh, somewhat accurate to what we're gonna experience. But anyhow, thank you for tuning in again. And also, uh, before I go, I'd like to thank everybody for the comments and for the likes and so forth. And I also like to say that I finally, I finally have um, rerouted all the stuff for Buy Me and Coffee and, uh, and all that stuff. So it should be taken care of. As I said, it was raining. And uh, <laughs> luckily enough, I got signal on the phone. So I could get the uh, verification codes and, and sort all that things out. And also I'd like to mention that internet is absolutely not a problem here. Uh, I have Starlink, which has been working flawlessly actually. And I have the RV solution, so it's even easier. I can just uh, move it if I want to. And it's a plug and play, it goes super fast. Not sponsored by the way, but it's a really good product. I like it. So. I think it's time to say goodbye for <laughs> for this week and uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for the comments and thank you for the suggestions in the in the comments as well. Uh, I started to do some from the comments actually like French train. You, some people talked about French train around the uh, on the back here, and I did a small experiment up by the the staircase because I have problems there with the water. Just keep on overflowing. So I tried to do a, a French train there. Uh, it works so so. I think I need to <laughs> need to read a bit more on how to do a good French train because it's yeah, it's not really working perfectly. But it's good to do small stuff before I tackle this because if I do this, I just want to do it once, right? So if it's gonna be a French train, it's gonna be a good French train. But uh, that's it, huh? And uh, yeah, the rain is going back and forth, back and forth. See, now it's sun, huh? As I said, we get them all in one day. In one day, we get them all. And now the, the camera is probably gonna wonder where to find the sun. Anyhow, let's see how long the sun lasts. I'm not too optimistic. Uh, I'm gonna call it for today. Last thing, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next week. Okay, and thank you for the comments. Bye bye.